I have used needable erasers for years and find them an essential tool, but they are one of those products that people either love or hate. So I thought why not get a few of the different makes that are available and see how good they actually are. This video is not sponsored by any of the companies mentioned in it and all the products used have been purchased by me and any conclusion that is drawn is purely my opinion. The products that I will be using for this are from Karen Dash, Factis, Windsor & Newton, Faber Castle, Derwent and also one other product which is not actually an eraser but can be used as such and that is Sticky Tack or Blue Tack. The first thing that needs to be done is to break the eraser in and the best way that I have found to do this is to first of all fold it, twist it and then knead the eraser until it is pliable. The Caran Dash is the one that I normally use and is relatively easy to break in. It is the most expensive of the six and the hardest to find. As with the Caran Dash, the Factis is in a cellophane wrapper that is easily removed. This eraser is mid-range on price and again is easy to break in. The Windsor & Newton comes in a cardboard sleeve. There is cellophane attached to either side of the eraser that I found quite difficult to remove. This comes in at the higher end of the price range, being similar in price to the Faber Castle and the Derwent. Again it did not take a long time to break in, but it is firmer than the previous two. The Faber Castle comes in a plastic box to protect it when not in use and is also wrapped in a piece of cellophane. It is the softest of the erasers and does not really require any breaking in, as it is pliable from the start. The Derwent is wrapped in a paper packet. It is the firmest of the erasers and has a very gritty feel to it, but again did not take too long to break in. Now we come to the wild card, Sticky Tack or Blue Tack. I have included this one because it is an alternative to a kneadable eraser and is the cheapest option. A 45 gram packet effectively gave me two erasers and took the same amount of time to break in as the others. I have applied 4B pencil firmly to the paper to see how well the erasers perform. Starting with the Caran Dash, I roll the end of the eraser between my thumb and index finger to produce a point, and then lightly use the tip of this to remove tone as if to create a small highlight. The graphite will stick to the end of the eraser and this will diminish its effectiveness. So I just roll another point and repeat to pull out more tone. I pinch the end of the eraser to make a blade and run this through the tone to remove a line. I roll another point and press the eraser down firmly to see how much tone it will pull out in one go. The final test is to see how much tone can be removed by rubbing the eraser over the 4B. You can see a large amount of tone is stuck to the end of the eraser, so I need the eraser which will clean it and disperse the graphite within it. And then repeat to see if it will remove any more tone. I now do the same with the Factis. I would say this produces the same result as the Caran Dash and I would have to say that I would not be able to tell the difference between the two. They both have a slightly tacky feel to them and are both just as pliable. The Windsor & Newton has a dusty feel to it. It performs well in making the highlight but not quite as good in drawing the line. It also does not seem to disperse graphite very well within it. But again, it did perform well pulling out tone. However, I do feel that it would have a limited lifespan. The Faber Castle did well with the highlight, but did not perform as well with the line. And I think this is due to it being softer. 
It again performed well at pulling tone out, and the graphite is easily dispersed within the eraser by kneading it. This eraser would be a good choice for somebody with less dexterity, as it is much easier to knead and shape than the others. The Derwent again removed the highlight and did okay with the line, but feels very hard and gritty. It doesn't seem to pull out tone as well as the others, and it seems to get dirty very quickly. And as you can see, this can lead to graphite being deposited back down on the paper. Also when being kneaded, it does not seem to disperse the graphite well within the eraser. Now we come to the sticky tack or blue tack. Bear in mind this is not a product designed for artwork, but as you can see it does perform well creating a highlight. It is not so good at creating the line, but does work well at removing tone. I will do the same as I did with the Derwent, as there is quite a lot of graphite stuck to the end of it. But as you can see this time, there is no residue left behind. This is the cheapest product on test and works quite well, but I know from previous experience the performance is short lived. It will get dirty quite quickly as well as becoming greasy, so if you are going to use it, it needs to be replaced regularly. I have put a link in the description below for all the products that I have used in this video, and I will earn a small commission from anything that is purchased. Unfortunately, I haven't been able to find an online retailer for the Karen Dash kneadable eraser, but it may be available in your local art store. In conclusion, I would say the Karen Dash and Factis are virtually identical, and I found these to be the best out of those reviewed. Although the Factis was mid price range out of everything, it was by far the cheapest of the kneadable erasers, with only the sticky tack being cheaper. The Windsor & Newton was not quite as good, and I think it would get dirty very quickly and have a limited lifespan. The Faber Castle is too soft for my liking, but as I said previously, this is a good choice if you have less dexterity. And as with the Caran Dash and Factis, it dissipates graphite well within the eraser. The Derwent is very hard, and it got dirty incredibly quickly. It also doesn't dissipate graphite well within the eraser and this will lead to smudging, and as such, I think this product would have a very short lifespan. The sticky tack did perform very well overall, but as I said, it will get dirty quite quickly, and if you are going to use this, you will need to replace it regularly. Personally, because of how I work, I would be quite happy to use either the Caran Dash or Factis, with the Factis having the same performance, but at a significantly lower price. I know from using both products in the past that I generally get about three years use out of one of these erasers. I hope you have found this video useful. Now bear in mind this is my own opinion and is purely based on how I like to work. So thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.